So today we've built one of the best teams in FIFA and this is no cap. And I want to go through each player because I got a bunch of players from the La Liga team of the season that I know you guys are really, really going to want to know. If that guy is that guy, is he good? Should I waste my coins? Because some of them are super expensive. For example, if I go to my trade pile, you'll see Benzema got sold for 2.850. And uh, he is no longer a part of the squad. I also sold Courtois, but, but that's because I got a duplicate Courtois from PAX. But Benzema is no longer a part of the team. And I do got gameplay with him of foot champions. And we'll speak on that in a minute. Real quick, YouTube, what's going on, baby? You guys look amazing today. I appreciate y'all clicking on the video. Hey, look, hit that big old thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. Make sure to subscribe and turn your bell on as we drive FIFA videos every single day. Now, we're going to discuss Benzema and many other Team of the Season cards. And we are also going to show custom tactics and get some gameplay in this episode here. Let's jump into it quickly, man. I know you guys are here for one thing and one thing only. You want to see the team and you want to get my opinion on every single one of them. So, we'll start off with Courtois. Now, Courtois has already played 10 games for us and I really enjoyed Courtois. Here's the difference. All goalkeepers suck in FIFA. You just gotta find the one that you feel makes the most saves for you or maybe has a one-on-one -on -one opportunity saves it and you're like, wow, I won the game because of this card and now he becomes one of your favorite cards. That's really all it is to it. It's one guy that you notice something in a big game and then he just sticks with you for a couple more games because he did a big thing for you. Because realistically, there is no best goalkeeper in the game. There's just a goalkeeper that had a best moment for your team and that's why he's a part of your team because goalkeeper keepers stink in this game and i think we can all agree sometimes they're amazing sometimes absolutely trash now you're gonna look at this you're gonna think to yourself man this guy's running a three back what a rat no i play four four three two one and i started messing a lot, a lot with narrow four one two one two narrow it's just so easy to play it's a formation where you can kind of turn your brain off and kind of plays for you so i kind of started messing around with that a little bit let me show you the center backs though man we're gonna start off with the big boy Ether militao he's been around already for eight games Ether militao has been a blast um i'm gonna rank the center backs from top to bottom from la liga okay we're gonna go straight from the top straight to the bottom and i'm gonna tell you which ones are the best ones and which ones are the ones that are not so good for example we also have david alaba i told you we can rate a lot of these guys and then i also have the boy conde which i packed for my 84 uh 25 times if you missed that go check that video i posted up late last night now with that being said, we got Edder Militao, we got David Alaba, and we got Conde. And also, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, but wait a minute, where's the Barca man? Um, the Barca man is right here. I had him loan, and I think I've used him about three games already because you get two games. I I've thrown him into the lineup. He's been okay, the two games I've thrown him in, but there's nothing better than Edder Militao. I have noticed Edder Militao the most. I thought he was absolutely incredible. I have noticed David, David Alaba a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Then Conde, and then the Barca man. I would say one, two, three, and four, which is funny because that's kind of how their rating goes down. Maybe Conde could be ahead of David Oliver, but I use David Oliver. I've used him in the back, but I'm not using him in the back right now, and that's why I like David Oliver so much. I'm going to show you why. First of all, I haven't, I've used David Oliver for nine games. I want you to pay attention to these stats, man. Eight, 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 uh, 88 pace, 83 shooting. 91 passing, 91 dribbling, 96 defending, 88 physical. I use them in the midfield. I use them in the middle of the park. I'm going to show you exactly how I play this team, but I have to, bro. Look at them stats. It would be crazy to leave a card like this in the back. Like, Conde is sick, but he doesn't have shooting. And or Eder Militao is sick, but he doesn't have shooting. But this David Alaba has everything you need to be a perfect midfielder. Good agility, good balance, good interceptions, good stam, good acceleration, good sprint speed. This guy is an awesome midfielder, bro. And that's why I throw him, and he's been pretty damn awesome for me in that spot. You know what I'm saying? So... I've been doing that with him um, a lot, and it's it's been working pretty well. On the right back position, unfortunately, I had to go with Cafu. I really like Da Costa. He got upgraded. I want to use my boy, but Cafu is one of my favorite right backs in this game. So I just leave Cafu and that bad boy. Let him kind of give Edder Militao the hard green link. And um, with that being said, since I have the hard green link right there, now I could just throw Bellingham right there and Bellingham's gonna be on eight chemistry, which is nice. I got Bellingham on eight chem, Ether Militao's fully full, so we ain't gotta worry about that. It's Gucci, Ether Militao and David Alaba are a perfect duo in the middle of the park. I absolutely love it um, and it's worked out pretty awesome for me. Now, one guy that I just can't seem to get away from is this man Pele. Um, he just keeps staying in the team. First of all, he either gives me a really good link that I need, or second of all, he has that five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and crazy, crazy, crazy good speed and stuff like that. Do I love him? I mean, he's good. He's 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 like he's like the he's like the staple card of what FIFA is. You want him in your team. Um, because you got the five-star skills, you got the four-star weak foot, you got the high medium, you got the small, you got the agility, you got the balance, you got the left stick dribbling, you have everything you need with him. You got the good finesse shot. Um 
but I'm just kind of bored of using him. Jude Bellingham, I say get the future star. Jude Bellingham, this card is way too expensive, 2.5, but we're not talking about Bundesliga, we're talking about La Liga. Um, so again, we're gonna go through the list of which ones I would tell you to buy, which ones I would tell you not to buy, which ones I would tell you to avoid, all that good stuff, okay? Left back position, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's keep it moving, y'all wanna see the team. I got Acuna, I told you, I tried them all, man. Big boy Acuna has been here too, 16 games with Acuna, like him. Is he better than Marcelo? Left back Marcelo? No, left back Marcelo is kind of a better card because you could play him center mid, you could play him left back, you could play him left mid. If you go three back, if you go three five two, you put Marcelo up at that left that left mid spot because he has those weak foot. I mean, the skill moves, he's everywhere. So this card, you only can really play him left back or center mid. Center mid works for this guy too because he has the David Alaba type stats, except for lower shooting. Uh, but he could also play the left back position. I mean, the, the left the left center mid position if you want that. But at the end of the day, Marcelo, I think, is a better left back. But I do like Acuna a lot. And I really like Acuna for that price tag. I bought him at 110. He's probably even lower. Um, he's probably extremely, you know, it's, maybe he went up a little. I'm not sure. But, okay, next guy up. I know y'all want me to hurry up. So let's get this going, man. Um, João Felix. Yep, I know I'm Portuguese, so y'all think I'm gonna I'm only saying this because I'm Portuguese. But the truth is, it's not that, man. 16 games played, 21 goals, three assists. That's all qualifiers. That's all Champions League qualifiers. Champ Champions League qualifiers. Uh, uh, weekend League uh, qualifiers. Weekend League. Nothing but qualifiers and Weekend League. No squad battles in there. 16 games, 21 goals. I love his movement. Love his five star skills. Medium, medium. Shoots the ball well. Scores a lot of goals. Bought him for 930. Probably down in price because that's what happens. Probably way down. Um, it looks like he kind of held his price, maybe went up a little bit. I really like Juan Felix. I think he was a really, really good W, and he is the reason Benzema is no longer here. To be 100% honest with you, Benzema has been one of the worst team of the season cards I have used. We'll go back to that in just a second. I'll explain why in a minute. Up next, boys, we got to throw Mbappe into this lineup, okay? Mbappe's going to go on this side. He's going to be off chemistry, um, just, like, uh, just like Jude Bellingham. But in my opinion... Um, it's not really that big of a deal. If you ask me, I think you're 100% um, okay um, with that. And then we got one more player in the team, and it's the Frenchman. The man that was absolutely so ratty in the beginning of FIFA. I actually didn't like him in the beginning of FIFA. I hated that card that everybody was using. He, I, I don't know. I just got so mad at that card. I was so sick of playing against him. Everybody was using him. So I thought to myself, hey, man, I got to try this card. And I did. And here is Fakir. 16 games played, 11 assists, 22. I mean, two goals. You're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's really low goals, man, to get to games. It's actually really good contributions for the fact that I play him in a 4-3-2-1. I got a lot of custom tactic videos, so I don't really want to go through that too much, but this is my custom tactics for three, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'll just go really, really fast. Um, you could just quickly like stop the video at any point so you can see what's going on. I have like three, four videos of this tactics on the channel. Um, all the tactics I use are up on the channel. I don't know if I've done a narrow one yet, but I could do that for you guys if you want to see it. Um, David Alaba, Jude Bellingham, Fakir in my midfield, Mbappe on the right, Juan Felix on the left in the middle, Pele on the left, Acuna left back, Conde, Eder Militao on the back, and Cafu. I told you guys it's very, very clean. David Alaba plays that like kind of holding midfielder spot. Um, as a media medium, I believe he is. And then my boy Jude Bellingham as a high high is more of my box to box now, which I've never used Jude Bellingham as a box to box. It's kind of clean. Then I got the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow, which this actually works really well for the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. You got Mbappe, Juan Felix, Pele, Bellingham as the box to box, David Alaba as the holding midfielder, and Fakir as kind of another create in midfielder. Um, and then Cafu, Acuna, Conde, Eder Militao. Um, it's very, very clean. David Alaba could even go left back, and Acuna could switch with him, but I really, really enjoy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I really enjoy David Alaba in the middle of the park a lot. So it just works out super, super, super nice. And then when you go into the three back, it's very, very clean. I haven't really had to do it in any game. So you see my tactics are not really set up for it. But Acuna would go out to the left back position. Pe uh, 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 Fakir would go out to the right. And Mbappe, Juan Felix, Pele. That's why I don't really like going 3-5-2. And I started going narrow, 4-1-2-2 two, and two, a little bit more. Because as you guys can see, I'm not the biggest fan of Acuna and Fakir being out on the wings. But hey, listen, they do work really, really well there. A thousand percent, they work really, really well. Also, I could do a lot of different things. Like, for example, I could drop David Alaba. And this is one thing I did like about going to that. I drop David Alaba here and I sub out Cafu, move Acuna to the middle, and then bring in an actual winger or attacker for the wing. And that worked really well as well so this team gives you a lot of versatility in every formation you go into which is very very awesome but it is a very very good team let's rate them Eder Militao an absolute W worth every single penny I love this card I think he's one of the better center backs in the game I'm not gonna say the best because it's too early okay David Alaba love him think he's amazing could play any single position he's very very good very very nice Conde very very nice love this card Acuna kind of a filler player he could fit um, he links nice He'll play left back well for you I think he's a lot like Cafu he's not 
not going to give you a crazy amount offensively, but defensively, he's really, really good. Juan Felix, a massive W. This card is extremely, extremely good. Got some skill moves, got some finishing. Everything's lovely about him. Fakir feels like an upgrade to that other ratty card. Very, very good card. Um, will get you a lot of assists. I never played him up top, so I can't really tell you um, 100%, but he was very, very nice. Jude Bellingham, I don't like him. I would rather have the future star Jude Bellingham. I think Jude Bellingham is one of the best, if not the best midfielders in the game, but I would just go with his future star. I think it's a better card. Mbappe, now everybody's calling him Snake Bappe because it looks like he's staying at PSG. I don't think he's a snake. I think he's signing with the team he was at. I don't think that's a snake move. I get everybody wanting to go to Madrid. I wanted him to go to Madrid, but he's not being a snake because he's staying at the team he was at. Um, so he didn't really snake Madrid, but... I guess he took too long to make his decision. Um, yeah, Mbappe is obviously amazing. I want to go to transfer real quick and let you guys know that this Benzema is a very, very, very way overpriced card. Listen, if this card was a million coins, I would say rock with it. But for 2.8, he's not good enough. I don't like him at that. I didn't like I, I didn't like Nkunku. That was a card I had for a very long time. I didn't really like him. Courtois in my lineup. And yeah, man, the only person I haven't tried is Vinny. I will have Vinny on the main account um asap i could buy him on this account probably i don't know if his price went down let's see if his price went down should we get vinny um the problem is i would have to sub vinny in and then who do you sub vinny in for it becomes a very very complicated thing i wonder if his price tag actually did go down vinny's price is still four mil at three still four mil almost three i could bid on him at 3.2 so i might have to be getting vinny on this account here real soon i could bid on him right here at three as well this actually might have to happen bro vinny might have to be a part of the team here real soon because his price tag is going down but hey you guys want to try a team I, I was going to give you chopped up with gameplay with benzema and stuff but i think i'm just going to give you the game let's jump into a game let's jump into a game let's do this all right boys we get matched up against fc barcelona he has salah and my boy son his reds were disgusting that boy got very nice reds i guess he got the sun sun was team of the season right i was, I was sun was prem right yeah yeah prem was sun was prem dude he got two amazing premier league team of the seasons because i was thinking was 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 sun part of the um the community one but he wasn't yo he was part of the good one that's crazy nice reds bro all right man let's see what we could do in this game hopefully we could do something absolutely special losing the ball like that is n never good come on come on nice Hit it, hit it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pass it. Go. Boys, that was, that was so hard to score on this guy's four triple two, bro. And he was ju just doing over the tops to Salah the whole game. I finally get this guy to back out. Oh, he was four, four, two. But I want you guys to pay attention to the stats, bro. This guy did not come out of his half. 70% possession. He only had one shot, which was a finesse shot from Salah. I'm telling you, bro, I was completely, completely on top of this game. He had nothing the entire game, but I couldn't break him because four, four, two or four triple two at times this game can be so so hard to break your opponent because when they have good players and they just really really flood the box it's impossible bro but we pick up an easy dub because like i said i just feel like this team is amazing dude it makes fifa really easy with this team All right so we run it back against a, almost a full icon team he got the inkunku in there player of the month that guy has a really nice team i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm kind of worried um these players always scare me, man. The guys that don't really get involved too much with team of the season, but they got a good looking team without team of the seasons. Yo, these guys always, always, always scare me. Because if it's like one of those things where like, yo, I have a team. It's good enough. I beat people with it. I am not switching. That's the type of these guys I'm scared. Of, I'm telling you, bro. Yo, Bellingham, get open. Oh, that's such a bad pass. Fakir bringing us up. Fakir, good pass. Mbappe. Trying to find someone. He gets Juwon Felix open and Juwon Zingu. Boy, oh baby. What a finish from the Portuguese. Good finish, baby. My boy, Juwon Felix. And Bape did all the work, to be honest. And then Juwon Zingu was just there for the tap in, bro. Hey, tap in Felix. We take that, man. Good goal. Juwon. Going around Kafu. Pele has to slow down. Trying to wait. Trying to wait. Trying to buy some time. Buy some time for someone to get open. And I do. It's Jude Bellingham. Now he holds on. Now, a nice one. Juwon Felix. We just climbed it up, baby. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. Juwon Felix gets the assist. And Bappe gets the finish. And we hit another one into the back of the net, boys. And we have now officially won two games very quickly. Back to back, back outs. And that's why I'm telling y'all right now, this is the best team in the game, bro. It is so clean. And I got to keep it a full snack with you. I know you're not going to be able to see it, right? But this David Oliver card, bro. This card is crazy in the middle of the park, dude. Like, he is that guy.
guy, man. He is so good. He wins his tackles. He helps me dominate the middle. Ever, ever since I put David Alaba in the middle of this field, I swear I feel like games have just been so easy and he clamped it. The addition of David Alaba and Ether Militao were amazing because I was using Conde and Solai, Sole, Sole, the, 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 the Bundesliga center back from Bayern. And then I, I just wasn't really feeling the team during qualifiers. So I switched it up and I went to David Alaba and I went to Eder Militao. I brought them in. And ever since I got rid of Nkunku and um, the German center back, it's just been so much better, so much easier to control games. I absolutely love this team, man. It is so good, dude. It's really, really, really good. There it is, boys. That, in my opinion, is the best team in FIFA, if not the best of one of the best. And that's nothing but pure facts. We had champs with some awesome cards, man. Um, go out there and enjoy your dream. Juan Felix, he's not a price tag that is going to make you go too crazy for him. Um, his price will continue to go down as rewards come out. You'll like him. I promise you he's a good striker. Fakir is a great player as well. Not so many offensive players in this team. In this episode, you have more of defenders and midfielders. But um, that, I think, is important. David Alaba has to be the biggest gem that dropped with team of the season. Uh, this card can play center back, left back midfield and i think he is an absolute amazing midfielder so hopefully this video helps you guys pick up some awesome team of the seasons thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys back here tomorrow with another fifa video but until then y'all stay safe y'all stay beautiful and i'll catch you soon love you guys peace and love baby